Okay, so I just had an update email from PinOS uh, that said that uh, Lineage is supported now, and I've just started it up. So when you start up PinOS, and PinOS is a, a multi-system launcher, and it runs from SSD, and it runs solely from the SSD, so you don't need an SD card at all. Everything just runs from one SSD drive. I've got my UCAM 60 gig drive in here, which hopefully is going to be big enough. I think I've only got Twister on here. You can see in the background that Twister is installed. So it tells me a new version of PIN is available. So I want to say yes to download that version. I've not done it this way before with PIN OS, but let's give it a try. So you've got to be quick on the restart. I wasn't quick enough, so I've just turned it off again. Uh, so after it finishes downloading, it just restarts the system. Uh, when it starts up again, you need to make sure you press the shift button as soon as it says. So now, and then it will go into recovery mode, and we'll switch back into screen capture now. Okay, so now we have Lineage OS in this list, so Lineage OS 16 and 17.1. This is significant because we haven't been able to multi-boot Android on Raspberry Pi 4 before. You had to have it on its own system because it does a lot of things with partitions. Uh, same with Windows 10. Uh, we just haven't had it as part of a, a multi-boot system. So this is great. So with Barry Boot, you can add a system and take away systems and it, and it all does it very well. PinOS seems to want you to do it all at once, uh, so you have to kind of pick your systems and then it will sort everything out for you. But the big advantage of PinOS is that everything runs from an SSD, whereas with Berry Boot you need an SD card if you want to use an SSD drive. So let's click on Lineage, and I think what I'll do is click on 32-bit Raspberry Pi OS. Uh, oh, is there a smaller, maybe there's a smaller system here. Yeah, I'm going to stick with Raspberry Pi 32-bit. Now we'll see if Twister stays on there. So Twister was the only system installed uh, at this stage. So available 57 gig, it needs 19. So we're okay on space there. So let's hit install. This could take a while. Partial USB support. The following OSs can only be executed from USB when it is dev SDA and may fail to boot. Or okay, so you might have to change something about lineage to make it boot. Uh, you did have to do something to Lineage, and I've got that in a separate video, to make it boot from USB. So we'll see what happens. So let's hit yes. And yes. And I like the way it does this, so it shows you what system it's installing, and gives you these sort of thumbnails and things and information about the system that it's installing. Here we go, we've got a tile for Lineage as well, as it installs, and there was one for Twister OS just now. Okay, so all OS is installed successfully, so let's hit OK, and you can see I can pick now Lineage, so let's click that, and then hit Boot. Oh, it looks like it's booting fine. So I haven't done anything, haven't changed anything, uh, and it seems to be still booting from USB, which is great news. So let's hit Next. So I have, uh, I'm going to accept the agreement, I have other videos on how to install uh, the Google Play Store, which won't come installed in this. Um, but uh, if you want to have a look at that, I'll link them in the description. Yeah, and we're up and running. So if I slide up from the bottom, uh, you can see that it's working. Click on the browser. And it's actually working nice and snappy. So as I said, I've got many other videos on Lineage OS uh, showing games running, emulators running, how to install the Play Store. Uh, but in this case, it didn't need anything extra. I guess I ought to try booting into another system as well. Okay, so I press Shift during reboot, and you can see now uh, the operating systems that are installed. Uh, I did note that you know I was looking for a minimal system. Uh, oh, so Lineage comes up. Oh, there's the Android TV version in there as well. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, so minimal, I could have gone for a lighter version of Raspberry Pi OS. And then games like Recallbox, RetroPie, Batacera, Lacquer, amazing. So let's exit out of that, and I'm going to reboot into Raspberry Pi OS just to see how it shows the rest of the partitions, if it shows them at all. So Raspberry Pi OS and boot. 
Okay, so that's booting into Raspberry Pi OS. So obviously what you'd have to try and do is work out which one of these partitions has uh, Android on it, which is the boot partition for Android, and if you needed to overclock or play around with it or anything like that. But in this instance, everything has worked from an SSD drive. I haven't had to do anything apart from click on what operating system I had to install. So uh, excellent from PinOS. Okay, so I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.